Hi, I'm Dr. Meredith Warner of Warner Orthopedics and Wellness, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about knee arthritis and specifically how PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, might be able to help with knee arthritis. Knee arthritis is one of the most common maladies we have in the United States of America. It's one of the most common reasons to have surgery, one of the most common reasons to visit a physician's office. It, what it is, is it's damage to the cartilaginous or surface covering of the knee joint, which is between the shin bone and the femur bone, um, and also the patella. All of those bones have a coating of cartilage, and the cartilage is there to lubricate and provide a low friction environment to let the joint move. Well, if that cartilage surface becomes pitted, either from breaks through the joint surface or from chronic inflammation in your body and things like rheumatoid arthritis or even just toxic environment around you or a poor diet, um, that area will become rough, it won't be smooth, and it'll hurt and crunch and uh, cause swelling and pain. And a lot of you out there are very familiar with this pain and this feeling in the knee. If you're not, you've got family members that are. Well, there's a ton of ways to treat knee arthritis. Uh, one way that is recommended by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, but which we know is not so good, is tramadol. This is a narcotic. I don't particularly think that we should jump straight to narcotics. Uh, another treatment that is recommended, but again, not good for you long term, is steroid injections. Well, steroid injections damage tissue. They damage cartilage, they damage soft tissue. They've been known to cause tendon ruptures, skin de depigmentation. If you've got diabetes, that's a no-no. It's gonna blow your sugar up. One of the other treatments is physical therapy. Now this is a great treatment for knee arthritis because it builds up the muscles that act as shock absorbers around the knee and makes your gait a little bit more effective. It can strengthen your hip and your ankle, which makes your knee work better and more efficiently. So I'm a big fan of physical therapy. Bracing helps too. It can offload different parts of the knee and take pressure and pain off of certain areas that hurt. Hyaluronic acid injections, or what you, it's called rooster comb, uh, helps some cases too. Now a lot of times insurance won't cover these anymore. But PRP works as well or better than the HA injections or the rooster comb injections. And this has been shown in some recent double-blind placebo-controlled trials. So PRP, what is that? It's your blood that we draw off in clinic. We process it through a series of centrifuges or a series of centrifuge episodes, I should say, and concentrate the platelets to the point where we have uh, if let's say we draw off about six or seven cc's of blood, we can concentrate that down to one cc of platelets, which is the white blood cells that hold all of the growth factors, okay? So by centrifuging it, you separate the layers. You separate the red cells from the white cells. Well, we get rid of the red cells, we take the concentrate of white cells, and we inject it directly into the knee. What does that do? Well, the platelets have granules in them that have growth factors, healing factors, little cytokines and proteins that promote inflammation and healing, and will actually sometimes even draw in your own stem cells. By putting a high load of that within the knee itself, in a natural way, we can promote actual healing. We're not just putting a Band-Aid on it. We're not just treating the pain or putting an anti-inflammatory in there. It actually will actually turn on a healing process in your body. It's pretty amazing. It's a biologic way to rejuvenate the knee, if you will. Now, nothing to date cures arthritis. We have no cure. All we can do are treat symptoms. But the biologics like PRP and stem cells, they're really showing some good promise in actually getting the body to do the healing process and help the body heal itself, which is really the only way you can quote unquote cure arthritis, of which of course there is no cure. Uh, so we think PRP in conjunction with other natural healing modalities like physical therapy and natural anti-inflammatories such as tart cherry, PEA, omega-3, turmeric, resveratrol, um, all of these things can sort of tamp down the chronic inflammation that causes that inflammatory pain of your arthritis and also make your body more efficient and work better. And then with the biologic rejuvenation, we can actually promote true healing. So we're gonna be talking about PRP soon in a weekly or a monthly webinar that we do, and we'll get in more in depth in the science, but PRP is a pretty powerful way to harness your own body's power to promote healing.